It's my great pleasure to the open uh, the Digital Security Challenge, the first of its kind event in Interpol, aiming at enhancing member countries' cybercrime investigative capability. Perhaps some of you may not be uh, familiar with IGCI, so I just would like to simply uh, touch upon the IGCI. They're under the Interpol vision, connecting the police for a safer world. IGCI was opened here in Singapore in April last year to address unprecedented challenges law enforcement faces in the digital age. So what kind of the challenge are we actually facing nowadays? As you know, identification of crimes and criminals is key all the time to law enforcement in order to detect and investigate crime. The criminal use of the internet has fundamentally challenges the tra law enforcement traditional uh, way of detection and investigation of crime. Today, more and more crimes have online or digital component, be it to move money or to communicate amongst criminals or access to victim. Consequently, computer and mobile forensic are uh, getting crucial, very much crucial, for all types of crime. As most investigations require the police to collect e-evidence from computers, smart homes, and tablet, or even the cloud. So without these capability, the law enforcement may not be able to see the whole picture of the criminal network, nor to bring criminals into justice due to the lack of sufficient evidence. Given this situation, Interpol created Digital Forensic Laboratory at the IGCI so that digital security or the digital, fo digital forensic support can be provided on-site at the IGCI to membership as well as remotely from the IGCI. By providing capacity building and operational support, Interpol strives to help you, member country, you, enhance your capability to deal with cybercrime. As part of this endeavor, we decided to organize this digital security challenge. For the next four days, you will be going through the digital security challenge in the investigative context. My colleague, Martin Obela, already explained about how the uh, exercise will be managed, so I don't go into the depths, but I, I essentially, uh, you will be placed in different teams and presented with cybercrime scenario. So your team will be then investigate and try to identify the perpetrator in a, um, actually minimum time. As e-evidence, as you know, is very much time sensitive. As in a live, real life investigation, this exercise includes interviews of suspect and analysis of the seized evidence. In the end, you will need to submit a report and the present evidence you found in front of so-called prosecution panel. What is interesting, perhaps for you, is that there will be reward for top two teams that will successfully conduct the investigation. I don't know what will be given to you, but I think, Martin, you know. So it, it seems to be secret. So I'm sure that you will enjoy uh, this exercise, and that's it. at the same time, you will be able to grasp the potential new challenge that will come to you in cybercrime investigations. By working together on the case presented during this exercise, I think you will be able to assess how ready you are to deal with these challenges in cybercrime investigation and what you need to do to fill the gaps if any. And importantly, you know what technology is available and who can assist you, how, when needed. That's the ultimate goal of this exercise. Having said that, I would like to highlight that this digital security challenge is based on multi-stakeholder collaboration, which is IGCI's approach since the beginning of its operation. So in the, today's crime landscape, most of information law enforcement need to prevent and investigate cybercrimes lies within the private sector. 
So that is why IGCI is designed to enable experts from law enforcement, private sector, and academia to work side by side at IGCI. This event today exemplifies this close collaboration as it is supported by both government and private sector entities. So I would first like to thank the, uh, the government of Canada, one of the supporters of this event, in the framework of the ASEAN Capacity Building Project for its continuous support to Interpol activities. Second, support we have received from our private sector partners. I'd like to extend our heartfelt appreciation to NAC, CDI, Cyber Defense Institute, Transmicro, MSAB, Magnet Forensic, and the Silverlight for their strong support, global police community through Interpol. And in this context, uh, there is very good news today, especially for a colleague from our membership. I have great pleasure to announce a new cooperation agreement that Interpol concluded with Silverlight last Friday. Silverlight will provide their product, software, hardware, and licenses, technical assistance and the training to law enforcement of the Interpol membership through IGCI over three years. I think that the challenge law enforcement faces can be only overcome by multi-stakeholder cooperation. Interpol, therefore, will continue to engage as many stakeholders as possible to find the best way to support you, our membership, in your national and the regional effort to combat cybercrime. I hope that you truly enjoy this digital security ex challenge exercise and strengthen existing uh, friendship or, uh, with your colleagues as well as develop new network to fight cybercrime amongst participants, including private sector supporters. I wish you very fruitful exercise and a wonderful stay in Singapore. Thank you.